Hi everyone! I'm sorry I haven't put up any videos recently. I've been really busy here. Uh, my parents got divorced recently and I've been going through kind of changes. Well, they got divorced back in like April, <laughs> but everything's been hectic. At my mom's house, we are, we've had tons and tons of relatives come and just cleaning. And here we're doing renovations because I'm at my dad's house right now. Um, we're doing renovations, we're painting our kitchen, and my dad's redoing our back deck. So, it's been kind of hectic. But, um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about the magazines I read. And I'm going to do another video, and that's going to be a different one. But this one I want to feature sort of Seventeen Magazine, because I love reading that one. Um, years ago when I was like a preteen, I would read Bop and Tiger Beat, and I had subscriptions forever, for like two years. So, I have like a really huge collection, and I would take all like the posters that were on the back and I'd put them all over my walls and I don't know I kind of grew out of that stage and I moved on to Seventeen Magazine. So here is all my magazines. I keep them like this and they're all organized by date and I keep them in this little Ikea, I don't know, organizer. I don't know what they are but I have so many of them. I don't know. Okay so these are all the magazines that I have and I have a couple more over here. But the first one I ever got was the Miley Cyrus one because I absolutely love Miley Cyrus. So I got this one because it was at the store and it's like, oh, it's Miley Cyrus. And after that, the next one I got, which you're probably going to laugh, but it's another Miley Cyrus one. And then eventually right after I got this magazine, that's when I got my subscription. So this one is the December, January 2010 slash 2009, whatever one. And after this, this is when I got my subscription. So then after I got... The Nicole one with the Taylor Momsen on the back. And if you look really close where it says ah, free eyeliner, if you can see that. Um, I sent in for this and I got the free eyeliner, which is awesome because I live in Canada. So a lot of the, the free things you can't get here. But it was awesome because I sent it right to my house. It took like two or three months to get it, which I was totally surprised when it came in the mail. But I got it. Then after that, I have the March, which this one is Lauren Conrad. Um, afterwards, the Shailene Woodley, um, the Ashley Green on the back, it's the America's Next Top Model person, um, then after that it's the Rihanna one, as well as Katy Perry, I love this one, this is like the thickest one I think, either that, well I don't know, I thought all the September ones are really 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 thick. Um, same with the October two. They're kind of well, actually, uh, I don't know. Um, Ashley Tisdale and Ali Mashaka. Then Kesha. This one was so cool. I loved her outfits in this one. I don't know. I'm weird. Taylor Swift. Like that one. Um, Leighton Meester. This one is really, really, really thin. If you can sort of see it, it's really thin. Then Miranda Cosgrove. The last one I have in this thing is the Victoria Justice. So, that's all the ones I have in here, and I have a couple more. Um, here's some of the newer ones. This one's the May. This is Emma Roberts. And then the other one is um, Lucy Hale. This one's the newest one that's out. This one's the June and July 2011 one. So, I like these ones. And the reason I'm covering up some parts because that's, like, the mailing address. But, yes, these are the two newest ones. And I really like them. I love reading them. I love all the fashion things in them. Um, let's see if I can find a good example. Yeah, all the fashion stuff is like up at the front. So, you see they have all the fashions. I'm not sure if you can see that. But it's really cheap too, like compared to Teen Vogue. Teen Vogue is like so expensive, but Seventeen Magazine, they sort of show you how to dress nicely for cheap. And I also love that they have the daily freebies. Love that. That is so cool. Too bad that I'm in Canada and I can't get most of them. Well, you can still enter, but I haven't won. Yeah. Um, they also show you how to do hair, which I really like. Um, I mean, I do watch the YouTube videos where they tell you how to do your hair, but I kind of like looking at the pictures and seeing how they do it and how like the stars wear their hairs and how they show you how to do it. That's really interesting. And then the other two that I have here are... Um, well, this one is Nina Dobrev's cover, and this one was April 2010, and I like it. Um, this one was good. It's also really thick. You can see it. It's nice and thick. This one was a good one. Yeah, they're all really cool. 
I like I also like looking at the ads. Like, look at this person. She's so weird. And this is the Britney Spears ad but for candies. But yeah, they're really cool. I liked her outfit and I like what she wore in this one. Let me see if I can flip to it quickly. It's after this part. Okay, here. I'm gonna show you this part. This is like all the stuff that you can do, like eco friendly. So there's like the laptop and the water bottles, and they'll show you on eBay. You can get all these instead of going out to the store and buying them and reusing them. Like you can get them off eBay. All the stuff that is like organic and like clean and nice. So nice. I like that too. Um, where is? Here we go. Found it. Here is her article. Okay, so it's like fresh face. If you just see, like her makeup is so pretty. I love it. And over here, like. I don't know. It's just me, or does she look really pretty there? And I especially love like this little picture right there. If you guys can see it. That one is really cool. Ah, I love her makeup and her earrings. That is so cool. And normally I don't spend a lot of time actually reading the articles. Sometimes I do. But I just really like looking at the pictures. So that's that one. And then the other one I want to talk about is this one. The 17 Fitness. Now this one's new. It's, um... I don't know. It says display until... The second of the eighth month, so the seventh month, that'd be August. So, Seventeen Fitness. I really like this one. Um, a lot, a lot of advertising for the OP Walmart brand. Like, you open it up, like, okay. On the back, there's an ad for it. You open it up. There's a two-page ad. You flip to the next page, there's another two-page spread. And then finally, you flip over here, oh, table of contents, another ad. And again, ah, more table of contents. Another ad. Basically, it's like all throughout. There's like, I don't know. I think there's like 12 ads or something like that in here. I don't know. And then again, at the very end, an ad. Woo! Yeah. But, um, as you can see, I'm sort of larger. But, I really like the outfits that she wore. I mean, I think it's really strange that she has two bikini tops on right there. It's weird, but they look good together, I guess. And I loved all like the little outfits that she wore in here, like when she was doing her yoga, as well as these ones. Those ones are really cute. I liked all those outfits. Um, but, I don't know, I guess I like those. Um, later on, in this, ooh, that one's really cute. Isn't that nice? I really like that one. <laughs> but, I was reading it, and they show you all, like, these workouts, and I decided one day, I'm gonna do it. So I did them, and I, I did pretty much every single one in this, and there's, like, Let's go back here. This one is flatten your abs like Ashley Green. So I did all of these ones. Um, boost your butt like Kim. I did most of these ones. I didn't have a stool at the time, so I didn't do the ones with the stools. And also my ceiling isn't very high in here, so I can't really like jump up. And I did most of these ones. Um, get killer legs with Whitney, except for the ones with the, the stool. Um, there's some, oh, oh still on. And then get awesome arms like Ashley Tisdale. So I did all of these ones too, but I didn't have the little hand weight things. So I just used like the dumbbells, I think that's what you call them. And then over here, melt flab with cardio like Kiki. I did most of these ones. Um, there are some of them by that time. I hurt so bad. Like my arms hurt and so do my legs. So I just couldn't do them all. And then lastly, um, cool down with yoga. I started with yoga because I thought it'd be a great way to stretch and warm up. So I did that, and for days afterwards, my butt and my legs killed. Like, literally, it hurt to sit down on the toilet. <laughs> yeah, because my, I don't know, I just hurt all over. And, but yeah, I have continued doing it, and I can definitely feel a difference. Like, my legs feel stronger, and so do my arms and my abs. Like, I can feel muscles beneath layers of flab. <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, this one's really good. If you go pick it up, it's a good article. Like, all of the articles about like getting fit and they even show you some of like what to eat which I mean I could eat whatever but then you won't be doing much and it also they show like the stories of how celebrities either lost weight or gained weight to be healthy like there's Raven Simone in the middle is Lady Gaga and over to the left is Hilary Duff no, over to the right sorry my left you're right <laughs> but I don't know they all look really healthy now except for Lady Gaga she looks really thin, like she should gain a little bit of weight. But over here, Kelly Osborne, Jordan Sparks, and Sinead Grimes. 
Like, they all look wonderful. Except for her. She needs to gain a little bit more weight. Yeah, she's really thin. And yeah, like, I lost 90 pounds. Like, real people actually losing weight and doing a difference. Making a difference in their lives. So I find that, I don't know, awesome. And look at this. Like, okay. I'm afraid to wear a bikini because I think people will judge me for it. But I recently bought a bikini, and I'm only wearing it at my house and going swimming in my pool. But I wouldn't wear it to the beach or anything. But you know what? You should feel confident in your body. And, I mean, looking at how skinny some of these people are, like, even the cover, like, look at her. Nobody's like that. She's obviously photoshopped. But in the very back here, they show Serena Williams. Like, look at her. She has big boobs. I have big boobs. And she's wearing a bikini on the beach, and she looks amazing. Like, she looks so confident in her body, in her bikini. She looks wonderful. Like, compared to Whitney Port over here, who just looks like a twig. Like, literally will snap in any second. Serena Williams looks awesome. She looks really good. And yeah. I don't know. I really, really, really like this magazine. It is so cool. I flipped through it, and I let my sister read it, and she did some of the workouts, and she liked them, too. So... Yeah, go pick this up. It's a really good magazine, and I am going to be reviewing Teen Vogue next, so stay tuned. Bye.